be doing a demo of a pine cone, of a couple of pine cones, different ways to do pine cones. I thought pine cones, something different for fall, and they kind of carry into the holiday season with uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas when you dress them up and make them sparkle. And um, so I'm going to be sharing a, a couple of tips and tricks on how to get pine cones to happen for you and how to make some pretty color combinations with those. Let's get into these pine cones. All right, so I want to show you where did that bottle go? I put it down here. The pine cones I'm going to share with you are is one of these. Okay, how to create one of these that looks like this. And I'm going to show you just a little bit different look, our standard one stroke looking um, pine cone. So I'm going to get some colors out here for this. I've got wicker white and burnt umber. Okay, and I'm going to put out a couple of other colors. I'm going to put out some Pueblo. So I'm going to put out some coffee latte and oops, oops, oops. And I'm going to get some treasure gold out. You guys always get real excited when we get out the treasure gold. All right. And I don't believe I'm going to need any medium today. And we're going to work with a couple of different brushes. I've got angle brushes. I've got a 3 8 and a 5 8 angle brush, a 12 flat and a 16 flat. Okay. So let me get my 16 flat damp and I'm going to just pick up some of the burnt umber. Okay. And let's come down. And I'm going to make a shape of a pine cone. Okay. So I'm going to come right up here. It start. it's like a triangle, but they come in at the bottom. All right. So very loosely. And I want to kind of brush out, try not to have hard edges on the outside. All right. So just kind of loosely fill that in with the, the brown. Let me come down so you can see. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways. All right, this is the stroke. Let me come in here. I'm going to side load some coffee latte. And then on that coffee latte edge, I'm, I'm on my 16 flat. Let me flatten these out. Coffee latte, and I'm going to work that in. And now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to side load a little bit of white. Okay. So it's coffee latte and white, burnt umber on the whole brush. All right. Now, this is the stroke when you're adding the top of the pine cone right here where it's really dark. Okay. You're going to, with the white up, you're going to make a little bump up and down, a little tip like that. It's kind of like a rosebud. And then you're going to come and put a little bump up and down in front of it. And then as you work your way out, you're going to create little wiggles and stand into the center. All right, so this is what the stroke looks like without the pine cone background, so you can kind of see. So it's a little wiggle up and down like that. Okay, and then as you start to come around, you're going to pull every stroke gets pulled into the center of the pine cone, and you're layering like that. Okay, so okay, we're going to work around the outside and make these little strokes. You're going to go around both sides, but keep them at an upward stroke like that. So they're upward angles coming back into towards the center of the pine cone. Okay, layering them, going around, following the curve of the pine cone. Okay. 
and then as you get to the bottom you want to angle it out a little more flat all right so going more horizontal here and here okay and then along the bottom you're going to slice in this way swing the white down and slice in that way so very much like a rosebud slice in this way and finish up with one in the middle like that okay and then they always have a little stem that comes down you may not see the stem and if you don't want to see the stem you could just do a little white stroke in front like that once you've got all that outside then you can start to come and fill in the in, inner inner layers all right so you're going to just layer and I'm really not picking up any more of the dark brown because I don't need to because of all that dark that we put in to begin with. Okay, so you're going to layer these strokes out to the sides, continuing to layer and up in the middle. All right, and as you come around, make sure they're not in a row. So you want some to go out wider and some to go less wide. All right out towards the outer edge and some are in like this so that you see the depth between the strokes okay now i'm going to get about this far and then i'm going to come back up here and add more all right little strokes and i'm leaving the dark in between now as i start to get towards the middle right where this is kind of the dead center of of um, the pine cone then you might start laying your brush a little more on the corner so that it's oriented more towards like you're looking at it face on. So this is what that stroke looks like. You're going to come here, lay it out, and stand it up, just like Donna does with her roses. All right, so you're out, lay it out, and stand it up, and then you're sliding in towards the middle. Okay. And then in the middle here, little corners. And this is where I like to use, or why I like to use the um, angle brush. And we'll, I'll show you that. Because if you can't get that corner up out of your way, the angle brush really makes a difference. Let me come do this this way. All right, so you're pushing down that white edge as you're coming to the bottom, layering that out like that. Okay, so the trickiest part I think is right in here and I'm not happy with the way that looks. So this is the beauty. We can come right in and darken that back in and we can lay in some better strokes. There we go. Okay, so it gives that turned look like you're looking right into it. Okay, so that's a basic pine cone, all right? And I like to do them in lots of different colors. And let me show you a few different looks, right? So you can come in with that brown and then side stroke some of the Pueblo for a more fall looking color combination. Okay, and then you'd have pine cone. These are, I guess, the seeds or what? I don't forget what you call these. Bracts, maybe? that look like this. So you got more of a, an orange tip. All right, now let me show you with, let's get the brown again. <clears throat> and we're gonna create our shape. And you can do pine cones in lots of different sizes and there's lots of different styles out there, okay? And then while this is wet, all right, I'm going to put the 16 in the water and I'm going to go to my angle brush. Okay, so I have my 5 8 inch angle and we're going to load this. Let me back up just a second. I'm going to load this with the burnt umber on the heel and we're going to come over here to our treasure gold and side load treasure gold on the toe and remember with an angle brush the heel and the toe the toe is the part that sticks down 
that's the part that we want to see the stroke from. So we put the color, usually that's the highlighted color on the toe. And the heel is usually the background color or the shaded color, the darker color. Okay. So I'm going to be side stroking more treasure gold as I do this, but here's this look. So you've got the same start here, that little bitty point. Let me come back down so you can see. Okay, and then you're going to do little curves in on the chisel. Oops, a little high. We'll bump that up a little higher. There we go. All right. And then you're going to do the curve up there like the rosebud. And then we're going to come around the sides. And you have to keep picking up fresh gold or whatever color it is that you're using on the toe because you're going to drag it through that brown and it is going to get muddy. Okay. So these have more of a slice look to them and you can wiggle them or not wiggle them. Very quick and easy with this angle brush. Okay. So then when you get down to the bottom and you're going to do pushes down, push down that toe to push that gold out. Uh oh, <laughs> my power just flickered. Welcome to Florida. We've got our daily storms coming through, so I'll try and hurry. Okay. So here, I want this to look more like everything is, is kind of folded out and down. So I'm going to just do little dips. I want you to see my hand. Let me back up just a little bit so you can see my hand as I do this. I'm on an angle like, or on an, actually like a horizontal like this, and you're going to push down that toe like that. Okay. So you're twisting the brush to push the toe down and lift the heel away. And you're layering as you go. And you've got that dark underneath so that it's showing. And I'm hoping that this should say, there we go. Look at that shine. Okay. So you're pushing that edge of that toe down and then standing it back up. So it's horizontal, push it down, stand it up, push it down, stand it up. And you're layering these down, going down the face of the pine cone. All right. And then if you're feeling really sparkly, you could come and get some glitterific and add some of that to it and see how pretty that looks for the holidays isn't that gorgeous y'all going wow yay glad you like it see some of those hearts <laughs> okay so let me just show you that stroke again real quick before i leave you you're on the horizontal like this you're going to twist the brush so it tips the toe down and then lift it back up and see how it makes that little lip that folds down and that's that little seed part that hangs off and this way and that way okay so isn't that pretty okay guys so that's our two demonstrations of pine cones today